All right, a couple of notes from the SmackDown and Rampage show. SmackDown is pretty by the numbers. Well, the show was all built around um, Brock Lesnar was told that he cannot touch Roman Reigns unless he's provoked. So he was trying to do whatever he could to provoke him. So he went into Roman Reigns' dressing room and started smashing things. And then Roman Reigns was evidently in a car with Paul Heyman coming back from Del Frisco Steakhouse. So they got a product placement there, I guess. And um, they were putting over the steak and the sides. I mean, it was like a product placement thing. And then, um, or, you know, whatever, adver ad advertisement in the body of the show. And then, uh, um, you know, then... Uh, they didn't do nothing, and there was no there was no physicality, right? Uh, no. What happened was uh, Lesnar was waiting for him to show up in his dressing room, and instead Lesnar went down to the ring, and uh, Brock Lesnar, of course, came out, and I mean that was it. Roman was scared, and he left. Ro Roman and the Usos, they just left, and yeah. Heyman, they just left. That was the yeah. entire. That was the entire, and that was literally the best thing on the show was uh, Brock Lesnar early on in the program when he was taking over the locker room. And uh, other than that, it was it was by the numbers. Shinsuke Nakamura beat Jimmy Uso to set which, up which, the which should have uh, happened. Yeah, yeah, the tag team match at the at the pay per view. There was of course interference. Boogs interfered uh, through Jane of the ring post. Jimmy distracted Nakamura hit the Kinshasa and won. Tons of recaps from Raw, the Kevin Owens segment, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, Drew McIntyre promo about the Happy Corbin match. Uh, then we had another deal where uh, Medcap Moss made a bad joke. He made a bald it, it, joke, and Corbin was upset and walked the, out on him. The again. bald with the bald bald fellas. Yep, the bald fellas. Yeah, about the uh, the Oscars or something, winning the Oscar for bald fellas. Yeah. Speaking of which, you see the Chris Rock thing? I sure did. Yeah, yeah, that was something. Yeah, shouldn't be punching people though. Uh, no, no, I know it's like. Celebrities, see, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I mean, this was like it's funny because somebody well, Chris like, Rock barely is not going to press charges, and so without him pressing charges, the police basically said, "Well, we ain't going to do anything unless okay. he decides he wants to press charges." I don't know. I seem to think there might be some video evidence of this. Well, there's definitely video evidence, <laughs> but I mean, if the victim doesn't want to press charges, then I don't know, man. There's less video evidence watched by millions all over the world. We had uh, Kofi Kingston and Ridge Holland. And uh, last week, Ridge Holland beat Kofi. Kofi came out, and I guess they were going to have another match, but he said, I've got a different opponent for you tonight. A different member of the New Day. It's the return of Xavier Woods. And literally, the match went 47 seconds. Xavier rolls him up, pins him. So uh, they've already beaten Ridge Holland. Uh, well, they've beaten Ridge Holland before. This well, is I just... know, but after the Big E thing, it was like... I figured he'd beat Kofi, he'd beat Woods eventually, and then Biggie would finally make his return. Beat Holland. No, they're not going. They weren't going to keep him unbeaten. But Big E's Big E. You know, I mean, it could be. I mean, it, it will probably be months. They can't. I mean, they could, but they they're not, they weren't going to do. It. And they already they already pretty much blew that off anyway when he apologized. We had Ronda Rousey coming out for a promo, and. Uh, so, of course, the notable thing is that Rhonda, she did some, I don't even know what the screw-up was, honestly. She said something like, at the, uh, you know, I'm going to beat you for, this, for the women, I think she said the women's SmackDown title, which I guess there's like a special way that you have to say the words. It needs to be like the SmackDown women's title, and she said the women's SmackDown title, and then she got all flustered and she said, oh, why do we even need to say women anyway? I'm going to be the SmackDown champion. And she calls Flair out, and Flair appears on the big screen, and they trash talk, and and that was it. Rousey f promised to break her arm, like yeah. she had done many times to many over the years. She basically said that if Charlotte Flair beats her, it's the biggest ma the biggest win of Charlotte Flair's life. But if she beats Charlotte Flair, it's just another day. Essentially. It's the line from Punk and MJF that, like, if you beat me, it's the biggest match of your career, and if I beat you, it's Friday or Tuesday or whatever that, whatever the deal was. So they uh, basically, you know, took something from from that, and uh, well, um, 
you know, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I, I mean, I certainly believe, you know, um, I haven't, I haven't checked since when did I last check on this? Uh, Wednesday, I think. And, uh, Rhonda and, uh, Charlotte Flair was still, I mean, it will be the quote main event either way, unless they change their mind, which, you know, like this week could happen 10 times, but, um, it was still to go on last. Um, but I know there's been talk of the Austin thing going on last and, and quite frankly, Dude, after the all Austin, these segments and everything they've been doing, the Austin thing should go on last. The Absolutely, one hundred percent. The, the no Austin question. thing should, yeah, the Austin thing should go on last. It's going to be the biggest pop of, um, and and also, it's moving tickets. I mean, you know, which, whatever, it's moving tickets, which is like not a a million tickets, but Saturday's well ahead of Sunday, which it was going to be anyway, and it has been this case all along. But the gap is actually since the Austin match, there, you know. There's been a, a more of a ticket movement on the Saturday show than the Sunday show. So, uh, but I mean, they're going to be fine. They're going to be, um, you know, whatever, whatever the number is going to be. It's not going to be sold out. I mean, they'll say that, but, um, but it will be, look, they're going to have over 60,000 people and probably over 65 both nights. So it's a big success. Um, and, uh, also, you know, as far as I think, it was actually on yesterday's show, Garrett asked me. So so the situation with The Rock is, it's exactly what you think. The belief is Rock wants He's to do it. He's not going to do it? No, Rock that's wants That's what to, I think. Okay, no, Rock wants to do it. They believe, they believe that that is the probable main event, but they are all very aware that, you know, there are things that could get in the way and it could not happen, but that is the... The working idea is that match for Roman Reigns against The Rock for Los Angeles. Um, but, you know, it, it is absolutely not etched in stone by any means. But, it, you know, and I mean, this has been, you know, that's been the idea for, you know, months and months and months. You know, I mean, that's not a surprise, but it's nothing has changed in the sense that he hasn't backed out and um, they're of the opinion he he really wants it because time's running out on him. You know, if he doesn't do it, you know, he gets a year older each time. But, you know, I mean, as far as, uh, you know, is it going to happen? You know, it's it's out of everyone's hands because he'll have, you know, between, you know, it, and again, he's he's trying to revive that XFL. Um, well, actually, it's 2023, right? Um, but that would yeah, but that'd be 2023. So he's trying to start the XFL next year. So he's going to be, you know, not to mention whatever other stuff he's doing. So, you know, it's a... But it's it's that's the situation of it. Angel and Ricochet, two minutes distraction. Angel pins him. Ricochet versus Umberto. They actually went seven minutes distraction. Ricochet counted out after Angel grabbed his foot, and he couldn't get back into the ring. And then, as noted, this idiot babyface has challenged both of these men to a two-on-one match for his Intercontinental Title next week on SmackDown. Yeah. Well, they sure lined up challengers for him. They sure did. We had a bunch of segments, including Austin Theory knocking McAfee's headset off, and McAfee chased him to the back. We had uh, Sasha, Queen Zelina, Rhea, and Shayna Baszler. Sasha got the submission win. This match was very not good early. It got a little bit better there at the end. Uh, Sasha ended up submitting Zelina's noted, and then uh, celebrated with uh, with Naomi afterwards, and uh, that was that. Then we had the Roman Brock segment where Brock's just uh, coming out, and Roman gets a look on his face, and him and the Usos bail, and uh, Lesnar killed a bunch of security dudes, and uh, that was pretty much it. So, pretty much a uh, nothing happening show. Next week, the uh, Andre the Giant I mean, Battle Royal. I mean, the, the whole thing is to focus on mania, so, I mean, that's what it's going to be. And then tomorrow's show is going to be the same way. Tomorrow's show, I mean, again, tomorrow's show is, is, is really got to be a big one. I mean, people will watch be watching on Friday for sure, but um, Friday, uh, you know, that, you know, boy, this weekend, oh, my God, it is just, this Friday is insane. That's all I can say. I mean, it's just, I don't know how you can keep up with Friday. It's just impossible. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, 
We got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.